and today I'm going to show you how I make my own tomato ketchup. Let's do it. The first step for this awesome ketchup, we're going to want a couple of onions. So chop your onions in half, remove the skins, and then you want to dice up the onion fairly coarsely. We're going to be straining the ketchup so you don't have to be too precious about it. And then stick your onion into a bowl, and then we're going to want a high-walled frying pan. Turn the heat somewhere between medium and high, and then you want to throw in your onions. Soon as the onions are in, give them a season with some salt and black pepper and then give them a good tossing up in the pan. So while the onions are ticking away we're going to prepare our tomatoes and I like to use a good selection of different tomatoes for this one to get a nice deep flavour and you basically just want to chop your way through them. Cut them into small centimetre pieces and then stick your tomato into a bowl ready to go. Along with the tomato we're going to be using some passata and tomato paste. We want it to have layers of tomato flavour. At this point once the onions are getting nice and brown and caramelized, we're going to want to throw in some spices. So I'm using some cinnamon, cloves and allspice. Chuck the spices into the pan, toss them into the onions and toast them off for a couple of minutes. And do me a favour and quickly hit that subscribe button below. And next we want some lovely runny honey. Add about a tablespoon or so of the honey. We can adjust this later if we need and give that a minute to caramelise with the onions. And then the first tomato element, we want some tomato paste. So add a good tablespoon of your tomato paste. Give this a really good stir through. The trick with tomato paste is to roast it off for a couple of minutes before anything else goes in. And then some apple cider vinegar. Add a couple of tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. This can also be adjusted later to taste. Reduce that down and then our tomatoes. So chuck in your assortment of tomatoes, give that a really good stir through. And as we've added more ingredients, give the tomatoes a season, give them another stirring through, and then we want some tomato passata. So pour in your passata, and here we have all our tomato bases covered. Everything from a rich tomato paste to lovely, juicy, sweet cherry tomatoes. So we wanna cook out the tomatoes between 20 minutes and half an hour, stirring every few minutes. You may want to add a little splash of water if the sauce is getting too thick. This will help us cook it out for a bit longer and after about 20 minutes when they're nicely broken down give them a quick taste and make any adjustments you need. Add any more honey, a touch more seasoning and then we want to get in there with a hand masher. So mash everything up. Very quickly give the video a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. Now we're going to sieve the sauce. So you want to take another saucepan, stick in a sieve and then use a ladle to pass Pass the sauce through the sieve. We want our ketchup to be really nice and silky and smooth. So work your way through the tomatoes and then you want to reduce down the ketchup to the consistency that you want. I like it to be fairly thick but not too thick. Basically the same consistency as classic ketchup as you would know it. Give it one last taste, make sure you're happy. And there we have the most amazing zingy homemade tomato ketchup. So give it a try guys and I'll see you next time.